Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi and as you can see today we're in Notting Hill and I'm sure you recognize those beautiful colorful houses. Actually today I want to take you to the Portobello market with me because I want you to fall in love with them at least as half as I love them. Let's go! In today's video, I actually want to show you only useful information, starting from the fact on why should you go there, how can you get there, what can you find, where can you shop for antiques, where can you choose clothes, where can you buy vintage clothes, and all these details. Oh my god, I was about to forget most important thing, where can you eat the most delicious food from all around the world. And if you like this type of videos, don't forget to subscribe, it really, really means the world to me, I'm not joking, I noticed every single one of you and I'm super happy and I appreciate you and let's start from why should you actually visit the Portobello Road Market well it's actually one of the world's most famous street markets and it's full of all different kind of stalls so you can buy their antiques you can get vintage clothes you can thrift clothes you can get a great bargain if you're looking for something secondhand or you can just enjoy the food and street art or street music and see one of the world's most diverse neighborhoods in London. And ever since the 19th century, when actually the market started, it's been visited by millions of tourists every year. And uh, the market itself starts from uh, the Portobello Road and it goes all the way into Goldburn Road. And you can find all types of things like stamps, jewelry, furniture, thrifted or vintage clothes. Well, not exactly now due to COVID, but it's also full of super talented musicians. And let's be honest, what's not to like about all this? I'm sure that no matter what actually your interests are, you can find something of your taste. Number two, how can you actually get there? Well, Portobello Road Market is situated in Notting Hill in West London. And I'm sure you have all seen all those beautiful photos of Notting Hill. I mean, let's be honest, I have spent maybe a little bit too much time taking photos in there. Well, wait a <laughs> That's totally true. <laughs> Best kind of experience is going to the market itself. And it's actually three miles away from Oxford Street. But of course, if you want to go directly there, you can take the tube. And the closest station is Notting Hill Gate. Or you can take the bus as uh, we actually did on our way to there. Number three. When should you actually visit the Portobello Road Market? Well, I went there on Saturday because this is the busiest day and it has the most toes out of all of the days. But of course you can still go on the other days like Friday and Sunday are also good days. But don't forget to check actually before going. And don't forget if it's a bank holiday in UK, some of the things might be closed. And something that you should definitely keep in mind before going is that no day is the same at the market and opening times change every day, but also the stalls themselves. So I went there on Saturday and there were antiques and arcades and fashion and clothing and also of course like fruit and veg and the food market was there. And you can refer to this image that I have put here and you can definitely check when is it open and also what can you find. And if you find this information useful and you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe. It really means the world to me. Four, where can you actually shop for antiques? I will actually have the places linked in the description if you want to know more details about them. And Portobello Market has been famous for its antiques ever since the 1940s. And if you actually want to find them, you need to come on Saturday because the dealers are not there the rest of the time. And uh, they actually have all types of collectibles from every era and also style, including uh, Georgian, Victorian, Art Deco, Art Nouveau or uh, also any type of uh, fine jewelry there is also fine china or uh, silver but again be very careful with all those things like always try to negotiate the price because usually dealers are 
kind of open to negotiation and the price that you see there it can always be reduced but make sure to ask for a lower price so you get this better deal and comment down below did they actually convince you to go to portobello road market or you're still not sure about it and you would rather do something else let me know in the comments down below and let's just have a nice chat number five where can you buy vintage clothes or thrift secondhand clothes well actually portobello road market is is best known for its vintage clothes and I know that many people go there to make a great bargain and trust me it's really worth it because once I bought this super nice backpack that I always use only for 40 pounds and the initial price was like 80 which is crazy I didn't even expect them that they would give it to me for half the price but if you can bargain it's definitely the best place for you however if you don't really like secondhand clothes you can still find like the regular trendy fashion shops in there in the market itself I would say that you can find both uh, vintage pieces or just older clothes that you can just thrift and are kind of more basic and everyday style and of course they have lower prices whereas the vintage pieces they are always higher in price but again as pretty much as the antiques everything is negotiable you can find thrifted or vintage clothes pretty much every day except from sunday but i would really suggest you going there either on a friday or on a saturday because there is way bigger choice there way more stalls and of course this also means that you can get a way better deal and uh, on these toes you can find uh, anything from like a basic t-shirt scarves sunglasses or anything that you need like uh, to put together a cute outfit number six the food market oh my god you guys if you go to the market or just like in notting hill please please do it for me and go to the food market itself because it's like the best thing out of the portobello road market and i really really love it because you have like such a good selection of food from all around the world that it's prepared right in front of you and uh, there is such a big choice and variety and they always give you like small samples for you to try before buying definitely such and if you have seen my previous videos, you might remember my excitement about food market. Hey, there's more of the market! Let's go! But this one here is actually one of my favorites. Like, literally, there is food from all around the world. Just look at that. And as you can actually see, this is the busiest part of the market. And of course, for a good reason. Prices aren't actually as cheap as you would expect them to be. Because usually for a dish, you would expect to pay around... 10 pounds and like for a dessert or for a side dish it would be around 5 pounds Pancakes! They're very little uh, I would say that you mostly pay for the experience in there and uh, just for having all this choice all in one place so I would still really suggest you going oh and actually the biggest tip in here is go there uh, in the late afternoon or at the time when they're closing up because this is the time when they're trying to get rid of food and they would really make you a very good price and uh, a special deal and once we actually got five pastel de nata for like two pounds best deal ever thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe because i swear it, it really means the world to me and i love and appreciate every single one of you and let me know in the comments down below did i actually convince you to go to the market or you're not sure yet and actually if you have been there which is your favorite part of the market let's have a super nice conversation about it in the comments down below love you loads bye